Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to easily reduce the size of video files by compressing with VideoProc. I want to thank VideoProc for sponsoring this video. VideoProc is an easy to use desktop app that can edit, compress, process, convert, and backup DVDs, download web video, and also record gameplay. I'll leave a link for VideoProc in the description. What determines the size of a video file is the resolution, which is the image size on screen, the length of the video, how long the video is, and also the amount of compression. Now you can change any of these or all of these to bring on your file size, but along with that, you don't want to lose any quality. For that, you need a good video processing app like VideoProc, which can do that. It can retain the high quality when you're making these adjustments to the size of your video file. Let's take a look at how easy it is to do all this stuff here inside of VideoProc. First off, we'll go over here. All this is done inside of the video section right there. I'll click on that. This opens up the video processing window, and there we go. And the first thing about this is how easy it is to get videos into VideoProc. You can simply drag and drop right into this folder. Let me show you how that's done. I have several video files here. And notice that these three, these are all in 1080p. And this one over here is a 4K video. Now, even though these are different sizes, I can take all of these and drag them right into VideoProc like that. It's going to load these videos in. And I can then work on these as a batch. You can work on them individually, or I can set one setting in here and then copy that to the rest of these videos. We'll take a look at that in just a bit. But first, let's see how we can increase our video size. We'll go from 1080p up to 4K. We'll do that one first. So I'll block out these. Let's just delete these from our list right here. So here you go. This is a 1080p video. You can see it right down here. There is our size 1920 by 1080. A few basic fast buttons down here, effect, watermark, cut, crop, goes into the video editing dialog box. On the right hand side, you can preview your video right here. Just click on that and preview it. There you go. Down here, you can check for your hardware acceleration. And if you happen to have a good video card on your system, VideoProc will automatically find that for you. You can choose where you want to output this to. By default, it's going to output to your standard video folder. And let's leave that one as is. Down below here, we have different target formats. Now, this is the popular set right there. If there's any more, click on the arrow over here. It will show you those additional video formats. Here's video. You can see everything in here. Click on this to see a few more of those. There we go. There's also device dependent music formats and toolbox options down here, such as rotate, snapshot, and so forth. But for us, let's go up here where it says option. Click on that. And this brings up the standard video editing window right here. It's a floating window, as you can see, and it floats right on top of your other window. Format, edit video, and you can rename right down here. Look at format. This is where you're going to be doing most of your size changes and your quality changes. For this particular demo, we're going to be changing the video codec options. You come down here where it says resolution. We want to change this from the 1080p. We want to take this one up to 4K, which is right there. There we go. Here's our 4K. Now, if you're doing batch videos, just come down here, click on apply to all. It then takes whatever settings you have in here and applies those to everything you have opened up in your window. We're doing just one right now, so that's all set. This is going to be upgrading this to 4K. Right here, this is set at default, and that's fine. Choose done. Let's double check our settings. Left hand side here is the original at the 1080p. Here's our target over here at the 4K. If you're happy with everything, come down, click on run. And it's actually very fast at doing this. Of course, the time will depend upon how long your video clip is. The longer your clip, the longer it's going to take. I'll go ahead and just jump forward past this screen and get back to the main window right after this finishes. And there we go. This is a very short video, only about 30 seconds long. There's our 4K video size. We have up this to 4K that easy, that fast. So let's see how we can now compress a file size down by bringing down its format. We'll go from 4K down to a 1080p. Let me just bring up another one of our video files. Okay, I'll just drag that over. That loads it right in. There it is. And there we go. This one is a 4K video. You can see it right here. Let's go back into options again. And this time we'll go back here to resolution. And let's change this down to 1080p, which is right there. 1920 by 1080. That's your standard 1080p. Check everything else. There's the source. That's correct. Keep the aspect ratio the same. That all looks fine. Again, if I had multiple files open, I could apply to all right here. And we'll just go ahead and click on done. And there we go. Let's double check our settings. Here is the 4K right there. And then we're going down to 1080p right here. When everything looks correct, come down, click on run. It will then do this process for us. There we go. It's now going to process that. And again, it goes very, very quickly and it retains high quality on doing this conversion down to the 1080p. Now, this is a much shorter video than the last time. And we're going to a smaller video size. 
So it's a much faster process like that. Now in this case, I changed it down. Let's take off that 4K and I'll just type on 1080p just like that. Okay, so that's how to take a 4K video and compress it down to 1080p. Again, this is only nine seconds long, very short video clips, but it will have retained real high quality on that output. Okay, so that's the first way. By changing the actual resolution, you can change the size of your file. So this brought the file size down by shrinking it down to a 1080p. Okay, the next way to change is to you know, actually clipping out parts that you don't want. That's gonna make your file shorter, your video shorter, and your file size smaller. You bring up a file for that. Let's close this. Here we go, let's just pull this one in. Load that in. Right now this is at 1080p, which is okay. And I wanna bring this down by cutting down the beginning. If I play this, you see there's a car way back here. It starts there, comes way over here, comes around the corner here. You don't really see it yet. Now you begin to see it comes around and right there it goes past. So at least half of this video is not needed. So we can cut this down. And for that, let's go back here to option. And this time let's go over here to edit video. You can see here's our video, there's our playthrough. And I'll let it run. There's a pretty good spot. Here's the car, you can see it right there. It's about halfway through. Let me if I back it up just a little bit. So it's just kind of just coming in behind that bush right there. Okay, it's just coming around the corner. So this much of this video, we don't need. Everything beyond that, I want to keep. So for that, come down here. Now different options, audio, video, we can rotate our video left, right, flip it, and so forth, playback speed adjustment, we can adjust our volumes. You can do a lot of little adjustments in here for your video. Put in some effects in here. We can even come in here and, and color balance our video. We can add in a subtitle. We can cut, which we'll be doing in a second. We can crop in the video to a smaller size in the frame or add a watermark. We'll be doing cut. This will show you the part of the video that you want to keep. So I'll take the beginning here and I'll pull this in until it's just about where that was. Right here, okay, the car is just beginning to come around the corner, right there. We'll be keeping this part and cutting this part out and choose cut. There we go. Now what this does is it brings down a clip and it's that piece. You can actually do more than one clip at a time. Let's say I wanted to have just the beginning of this. I'll go back here. I'll pull this one way back to the beginning like that. And I'll just bring in this little bit right here. Choose cut. We now have two clips, the first beginning part and then that later section. You can actually see a little thin blue line. That's the part that we're watching in here. There it is. If you want to get rid of one of those, just click on the X right here. Closes that down. You can go back and edit that clip by clicking on editing. When you've changed or adjusted your position, you just pull this back just a little bit like that. Choose done and that's all taken care of. When you're happy with your clips in here, click on done. Now this will be a smaller file size. We'll be compressing our file size down because we're removing part of that video that we don't need. So choose done, and there we go. You can see here the original is 12 seconds long right here, and we're now down to nine seconds. When you're happy with this cut, click on run. It's going to now go through, make this process. And once that's finished, we'll then have our nice nine second clip instead of that 12 second clip, cutting out about a quarter of the file size. And there we go, that's done, it's that fast. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Now the last way to compress your video, make the file size smaller is to change the compression setting. Come back up here to option, and we'll take a look at that. And that's right here where it says quality. Now, in most cases, leaving it at the default is the right way to go. This is your medium quality right over here. And whenever you run a video through VideoProc, the default is the mid setting in here. And this is going to help to reduce your file size without losing image quality. So it's a very good setting to go. Now, if you need to have perfect quality, then you can simply bring this slider up. It goes for a higher quality up here. You have high quality and very high quality in here. You can find which one works out best for you. And in this case, the higher this is, the higher quality, the longer it's going to take to run the compression process. If you really need to get the file size as small as you can and the other tricks still weren't quite enough for you, then take this and go to the left. Notice it's in big steps like that. It goes down one step here to a low quality and then one more step to a very low quality. So if you have to go smaller, Simply go from the default one step down, run it at this setting and see how it looks. You should always double check these things by looking at the final output if you're lowering the quality. Now, even with this though, VideoProc is very good at keeping as much quality as possible, but bringing the file size down a bit more by changing your compression settings. To put everything back to the defaults, just go up here where it says restore default and it's all set back to the standard settings right there. And I'll click on done. So there you go. That's how you can use VideoProc to compress a file size and make the file size smaller going from things like 4K or even 8K down to a smaller size such as your 1080p. When you're all finished with your editing, just click on that back button right here and it takes you right back to the opening screen here 
for video proc. Don't forget to have a link for video proc at the top of my description, right down there below the video. Make sure you hit the like button, click on share, click on subscribe, and I'll see you next time.